Organizers of tomorrow's second demonstration for George Floyd in Fargo are calling for peace. Preparations took a different turn today as the location was changed to Island Park and Island Park only. Valley News Team's Alexandra Kay talks with organizers, police and those who live in that area on what they're hoping tomorrow will look like. What was meant to be a march, an hours-long sit-in at Fargo City Hall, will now be a celebration of life at Island Park. The change of plans comes after event organizers spend days having discussions with city leaders. Organizers say that the decision was a difficult one, but done to show a goodwill of faith to the leaders of Fargo. Tomorrow is a day of peace. Tomorrow is a celebration of a small step forward and a mile-long plus road. We will not be protesting. We will be speaking and we will be celebrating. Island Park is a special place for many like Cherith Grove. She says she lives downtown, right where the riots broke out on Saturday. She says that she saw anger from those involved and that she prays Friday's event will be different. Anything could happen, but I pray that it's, that it's peaceful and that it's just a way for people to come together and to, to feel what we're all feeling, which is just very heavy. She adds that she sees the change of route in the protest as a good move by the organizers. They have good heads on their shoulders. They're good leaders and they, they're aware of what needs to, to be said. Organizers say that changing the look of this event is meant to keep the demonstrators in one place and to protect the city, a city that's taking precautions like boarding up the windows at the Fargo Police Department. It shows that anyone who's not here, their intentions aren't really where it's supposed to be. Um, anyone who really wants to support and you know, do the right thing, it's probably going to be here at that time. Organizers stress to those who attend, if your intentions are something other than peaceful, stay home. In Fargo, Alexandra Kay, Valley News Live. The event is slated to begin tomorrow at 1 p.m. Those attending are asked to not bring signs. We'll have coverage on valleynewslive.com and the VNL app.